video. I'm just now coming back from the movie theaters. Yo, I see your eyes on me. That, oh my, oh goodness, for real. All Eyes On Me has to be one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. The Biggie movie was better. Now, if the Biggie movie was better than All Eyes On Me, guess how bad All Eyes On Me is. Demetrius Ship's acting was terrible. I mean, you had some people in there that did uh, pretty good. Like Clifton Powell did good. You know, um, what's what's that little dude's name that was um, and he was in Mad Movies. Hill Harper, he did good. You know what I'm saying? They 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 wasn't that bad. The lady I was playing his mother wasn't that bad. But yo, key people was left out of the movie, and people that were supposed to be in the movie scenes were cut. Scenes were cut with key people in the Tupac story. Um, you know, key people that were in the Tupac story were cut out in the movie. That's all I'll say. I'm not, it's not much of a plot to give away, but your all eyes on me did not do Tupac justice. It was like a glorified BET movie. It was terrible. I could not believe how terrible it was. In the beginning, it wasn't that bad, but as time progressed on, it got worse. And worse, and then once it got to the death row part, it just became cheesy. It was like something that you see on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Late night, when you just sitting home and you ain't got nothing to do. So, oh, this is a movie made about Tupac. Let me just watch it. That's the type of quality it was. It's so bad, you couldn't even air it on BET. That's how bad all eyes or B is. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, you're a Pac hater. Never that. I've been a Tupac fan since the beginning since 92. And that's why I don't like the movie because it didn't capture who I seen Tupac to be. You know what I'm saying? It just showed him as two ways. You know what I'm saying? But... To understand him, you know what I'm saying? You got to basically check his music out, listen to eyewitness accounts of people who knew him, you know what I'm saying? Various documentaries, you know what I'm saying? To me, Tupac Resurrection really captured who he was. The Tupac biopic was terrible. It doesn't do him justice. It does him an injustice. I mean, I went to go see it just to go see it, but even before... Came out some of the scenes that I've seen that got leaked to YouTube made me think, Man, this is kind of bad. And when I got there and I sat there for two plus hours and I watched it, it validated me, it made me see that what I was thinking was true. This movie is so bad, it's gonna get a Rousey Award. Or a Razzie Award. That's that's an award that they give for the best, at work, well, for the worst movies of the year. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get a Razzie Award. That's how bad this movie is. Yo, it's so bad that the previews for the other movies was better than this movie. That's how bad All Eyes On Me was. It was just historically bad. It was bad. The best part... In the movie, or of the movie, is that part when the light-skinned chick was in the thong and I seen her butt. That was about it. Everything else is just like, ugh. I mean, Clifton Powell was good. J.B. Hector was good. Playing with two Lucia Core. Hill Harper, as the interviewer, he was good. You know. But other than that, it was kind of cheesy. Mano was just playing himself. He was just playing a goon from jail. He looked at old as hell in the movie to be playing a goon. The other dude that was with him looked at old as hell. And you had the outlaws of some sucker shit doing pop disjustice being in the, in the fucking movie. 
when they had no business being in this terrible ass movie about Tupac. It just well, you'll see tomorrow because I seen it tonight. All eyes on me was a travesty against the legacy of Tupac. It was very, very disrespectful. It was terrible. I'm mad that I wasted my $15 to see that shit. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible.